another tip for y'all. These, these Target bags or any type of shopping bag, I don't throw these away. I repurpose them. They're usually dog poop bags <laughs> because they have big dogs, which have required big bags. So I keep these out back. But in the house, I also keep bags. And I found this in the Target dollar spot a long time ago. And I football fold my bags. I do. I am that person. So if you grew up in the 80s, even the early 90s, you knew what folding a note was like. You would fold the note, stick it in your pocket, and you would pass it as you were walking by your friend in class. That's how I fold these bags. I'll show you. Here's what I do. I take the bag and I push all the air out like this. And then I fold it in half like that. Push all the air out and then fold it in half again push all the air out, and then I start creating these little triangular folds like this, just alternating back and forth all the way up to the top. And I will tell you, my husband thought I was crazy, but it's therapeutic for me. I will take all the Target bags, smash them down flat, fold them like this. And the reason I do this is because they take up so much less room. Like I probably have 20 bags in here already and they take up very little space. If I put them in here like this, I'm probably going to get five bags, but it's just so easy to go grab a cute little bag out and do something with it. So now when we go for a walk with our dogs, we just grab a couple of these out of the basket, that one came unfolded, and just stick it in your back pocket. Take, I mean, like, takes up no space. So that's, that's my tip for you. You can even stick them in the front. I mean, you could have bags in all the pockets. <laughs> Need a bag? Oh yeah, why of course, I have one. You can stick them in your purse really easily too. Um, I've had too much coffee, thank you very much.